Welcome everybody, my name is Tim Sandy and I'm a VMware Systems Engineer. In this session I'm going to talk to you about end user computing solutions by VMware and I'm going to specifically talk about Horizon 6 which is our on-premise solution, Horizon Air which is our desktop as a service solution or cloud-based as well as AirWatch since it is uh, related and ties to end user computing as well. So let's get started. Here's a quick agenda of what we'll be covering today. I will start off by talking about today's challenging EUC landscape, which is, uh, is obviously changing. Then I will cover VMware's Horizon 6 package, which is our on-premise solution, followed by our cloud-based solution, Horizon Air, briefly discuss some Microsoft licensing in relation to virtual desktops, and finally, I will briefly touch upon AirWatch again since uh, it does relate to mobile devices, which is a huge part of end-user computing nowadays. So let's get started. So I'm going to start off by talking again about the EUC landscape. So as you're most likely aware, the end-user computing or EUC landscape has changed a lot and continues to do so as we move on. End users are using new and different personal devices to access corporate data more often than ever. Additionally, end users and organizations are increasingly relying on a wider range of applications to get work done, including web and SaaS based applications. End users are also being more demanding about where and how they want to access their company related information and how they want to get work done. No longer are the end users coming into the workplace all the time. Many are working remotely and are often off the network for extended periods of times and need to access all of that corporate data remotely. So the previously mentioned changing dynamics in relation to end user computing are re resulting in a number of challenges for IT organizations. They're finding that the traditional tools that they've been using all along and that they've been relying on to manage users in the client server era is no longer sufficient to do the job today with these newer changes. In fact, trying to use traditional tools to address these changes has led to three key challenges for IT departments. The first being security and compliance, as data is tied to those end user devices that they're accessing the corporate data from. If the device goes walking, so does the corporate data. So security and compliance is a big concern now. The second is being management. With more devices to manage, patches and updates that need to be done, this also impacts the ability for IT to be agile and makes managing very cumbersome for them. The third is cost. This is directly tied, of course, to the first two points around security and management. In fact, most customers find that moving to supporting BYO devices with traditional tools is actually costing them about 20% more than it did before. So a new approach is needed for IT to address many of these new challenges. It needs to offer the ability to produce and provision desktops and applications easily by streamlining and automating these processes, making IT much more agile and flexible to those business needs and the changes. It provides the ability to deliver virtual desktops and application in an easy to manage way using policies that support standardization, helps improve security, and as well as compliance concerns. And finally, users need a single point uh, to consume those desktops and applications using single sign-on from any device from anywhere and at any time. So VMware's overall EUC vision basically provides a single point of access to the desktop and applications from any device anywhere and any time while keeping that corporate data secure, making management easier, and also reducing the total cost of ownership. So that is VMware's vision and we'll talk a little bit about how our products kind of help with that. So VMware provides virtual desktops and application capabilities in two core offerings. The first is with the Horizon 6 bundle, which is our on-premise solution. And the second is with Horizon Air, which is our cloud-based desktop as a service or DAS solution. The first solution uh, I will talk about, of course, is the on-premise solution, which is the Horizon 6 bundle. The Horizon 6 bundle provides our core end-user computer offerings provides you with virtual desktops and the agility to provide applications from a single platform. It then gives you a single portal to access all those desktop and applications with the workspace portal, giving you great performance using either the Horizon View client or the standard or a standard HTML5 web browser to access those desktops and applications. So you can access them from any device. Our Mirage product provides central image management on physical, virtual, and BYO devices. 
We offer closed loop management and automation, which provide an efficient way to manage those desktop and applications with several of our Veer Realize products. And also all the products use and benefit from VMware's integration between products, making it optimized for that software defined data center, which everybody is moving to. And finally, it provides the ability to manage and expand to the cloud for the true hybrid cloud approach for those that are getting interested in starting to migrate to the cloud. VMware is also working very hard to help drive down the CapEx and OpEx costs associated to end user computing. Much like we did with the server compute virtualization years ago, we are seeing the same uh, total cost ownership benefits by virtualizing desktops and applications as well. Day to day IT operational costs are greatly reduced due to simplified management, image management, excuse me, using policies, standardization, and automation of many time consuming day to day operational tasks that those virtual admins have to do. So again, this all helps drive down that total cost of ownership for managing and maintaining all your desktops as well as your applications. To summarize, the benefits customers see from virtualizing their end-user computing environment using Horizon 6 Bundle is that it streamlines and manage, streamlines the management of desktops and applications with better security and control, as well as protect and deliver resources to end-users from back in the data center. It also provides easy access to all apps, desktops, and online services that end-users need across different devices and geographical locations. And finally, to help drive down the operational and capital costs associated with managing end-user desktops and applications. So real briefly, um, the Horizon 6 packaging and licensing um, is available in three different editions as you see here. First there is the Horizon View Standard Edition, providing a simple and powerful VDI solution, virtual desktop infrastructure with a great user experience. Again, it gives you that core virtual desktop plus as well as our thin app to where you can virtualize an application. For customers that are looking for more flexibility to deliver desktops and applications across any device, both physical and virtual, at a lower cost with enhanced automation, the Horizon Advanced Edition is a great choice. And finally, the Horizon Enterprise Edition provides customers that are looking to build out an enterprise-ready cloud with all the orchestration and automation that it requires along with everything that's in the, the lower packages as well. So that wraps up the general information for Horizon 6, again our on-premise. So now we're going to move into our cloud-based desktop solution. Again, it's going to be Horizon Air and that is our desktop as a service or DAS solution. So today's studies are saying that almost half of the information workers use three or more devices at work to increase productivity to do their job. So they're using more three or more different types of devices to do their job. That's, that's getting very hard to manage for IT shops. 50% of the enterprises applications no longer run on Windows. More of them are moving to the cloud and using mobile and SaaS applications than ever before. And over 250 million end users need and are currently accessing content sharing applications like Dropbox. So that opens up a lot of issues and of course you need to make sure that all of this is done while keeping your environment secure and being efficient while doing it. So Horizon Air provides virtual desktops and applications as a cloud service running on our vCloud Air data centers. It provides users a premium experience as though they were working on a physical desktop like they have been all this time, while providing administrators a simple and easy to use interface to deploy and manage those desktops. It provides predictable cost structures making monthly and annual budgeting and forecasting very easy and consistent. It provides integrated security and control that you would expect from VMware. And finally, the flexibility to achieve a true hybrid cloud environment. Even customers who've already invested on prem VDI solutions such as Horizon 6 are interested in cloud-based desktop and applications as well. Horizon Air provides a very fast and flexible deployment option such as needing to quickly scale up for outsourced projects or even company acquisitions. Maybe you don't have the capex to grow your existing on-prem VDI environment. Well, don't worry about that. Uh, with Horizon Air, this is a OPEX type of model, so you don't have to invest all that capital expense up front to be able to get set up and running 
with your desk with your desktops. DAS offers known costs in the form of a per desktop monthly subscription that grows or shrinks as your desktop needs do. On-premise VDI costs are very lumpy and less predictable and again it has a lot of capex on the front end of that. You know, do you have employees far from your data center and their performance is an issue trying to access those desktops within your data center but they're geographically very separated from your data center? Since there are multiple Horizon or data centers located around the world, this issue can be resolved by selecting one that is located close to your employees to help that performance related to connection issues. If you're looking for that true hybrid model and need to deploy VDI to both on-premise and be able to expand to the cloud, you can do this using Horizon Air that uses the same VMware software and technology that you have in your on-premise data center currently. So again, very much easy to have both if you choose that. You can have a Horizon 6 VDI on-premise solution as well as for bursting capability for different needs and projects that come along. You can use that to uh, be able to burst out into the cloud. So again, you have a lot of different options. There essentially are three different offerings within the Horizon Air family. The first is the Core Desktop as a Service, or DAS, providing the virtual desktops themselves. Then there's also Disaster Recovery as a Service, or DR as a Service, for your DAS desktops to provide a DR solution for your end user desktops. And finally, we also have Apps as a Service, providing applications to your Horizon Air desktops, and that's through a Windows server. By providing both virtual desktops and applications in the cloud, we can accommodate various use cases such as BYOD, temporary employees, branch office locations, as well as seasonal business that requires bursting resources for short periods of time. So for those that say are a tax company like H&R Block, they have a couple of months out of the year where they need a lot more resources and a lot more desktops, but they don't necessarily want to pay the cost to have those available year round. With Horizon Air, this gives you a great option to be able to, to burst out during those times and then be able to get rid of them. So you're only paying for those desktops when you're using them. Many companies are concerned about hosting desktop applications or corporate information in the cloud due to security concerns, which again, that's an understandable thing. We provide a single portal for all desktop management functions where you can provide appropriate permissions to ensure only those that are authorized to access can manage the portal. You get a, you're going to set up a secure connection between your on-premise data center and Horizon Air instance. And, and this is created to ensure a secure communication between the corporate um, on-premise data center and your Horizon Air instance to make sure that during that information transfer that that information is kept safe. You're also going to implement into your existing Active Directory groups and permissions. Um, those Horizon Air desktops will be joined to your Active Directory domain. So any group policies or any security group permissions or anything like that are going to, everything is going to stay the same as it is on your on-premise data center as far as security and having access to stuff. So again, that security posture doesn't need to change just because you have some desktops out in the cloud. Those companies, again, that have offices worldwide, we have Horizon Air data centers located around the world with more to come in the future. So this, again, this allows you to provide desktops and applications geographically closer to those users and reduce potential connectivity or performance related issues. And lastly, Horizon Air desktops come in three editions, standard, advanced, and enterprise to accommodate your different needs. The differences, as you see, are essentially the amount of uh, compute resources, such as CPU, RAM, and how much hard disk, as you see in this chart here. Then you also have the option to be able to host applications for your desktops in the cloud as well, again, with using a Windows server to provide those hosted apps. So I just wanted to quickly cover um, some Microsoft licensing aspects. Um, just very briefly, I'm not a Microsoft licensing expert, but I just did want to cover those ever so briefly. So Microsoft licensing is always a question that tends to come up and whenever we're talking about virtual desktops. Um, it is very confusing. A lot of people don't know how to handle um, dealing with licensing. Again, I'm not an expert, but I'm just going to give you some basic tidbits about licensing. 
So when accessing a Microsoft desktop OS as a virtual desktop, again, it does require a VDA license besides your standard license for that Microsoft desktop operating system itself. So you still have to license the operating system, but then there's also a VDA license that you have to get in order for somebody to access that virtual desktop. Under the old VDA licensing model, it was based on the device that it was connecting to the desktop with, whether or not it was a corporate owned or employee owned, and from what network they're connecting to that virtual device, uh, excuse me, that virtual desktop with the device. Uh, needless to say, it was very confusing, hard to figure out uh, without the assistance from a Microsoft licensing guru. Uh, although this is the way of using VDA licenses and it's still available, I would not recommend using this method anymore. There's now a new VDA licensing model, which is a per user basis, and every user uh, connecting to a virtual desktop will need a VDA per user license. But it's a more direct one-to-one -one ratio. It's a lot easier to figure out. Um, so again, this is the this licensing model is definitely the easiest to figure out, and I recommend using this over the old VDA licensing model. Just some additional notes, if your company has software assurance and they've purchased that, there are VDA licenses included within that software insurance. So for a lot of companies, if you already have that, you may already have VDA licenses that you can use already. If you don't, you may want to look into software assurance. That might be a more cost-effective way of you taking care of all your licensing needs for Microsoft. And then one additional note I want to mention um, that you should know is that a lot of people don't realize this, but all vendors and cloud providers must comply to these Microsoft VDA licensing requirements for accessing virtual desktops. We don't have different roles than, say, um, Amazon or somebody else. Um, VMware has to follow the same rules that every other vendor and every other company has to follow, including Microsoft themselves. So this isn't a VMware licensing requirement or a specific requirement, but it is a requirement for everybody, including Microsoft, to be able to access virtual desktops. So just a side note there. And finally, I just wanted to cover AirWatch uh, briefly since it relates to mobile device management. Um, and mobile devices now are very much an integrated part of end user computing and virtual desktops as far as accessing them. So I thought I would cover that as well briefly. AirWatch is the industry leader in mobile device management, or MDM. It includes capabilities to secure and control all mobile devices as well as the corporate related content available to the users on those devices such as applications, content sharing, email, web browsing, and much more. AirWatch provides several options on how you want to secure user devices and the information on them. The first option is for companies that want to be able to have full control and essentially be able to wipe a mobile device um, so that if, say, example, uh, you have a, a corporate owned mobile phone or tablet, you lose it, you let IT know, they can go ahead and send a wipe signal and it'll totally wipe the device to ensure all your corporate data is safe. So in that instance, that's when the is typically a corporately owned device, the IT department fully controls and has full access and control over that device. Then you can also use a containerized method where it creates a secure container to place all corporate related apps and data, but still allows the end user to have complete control over their personal device and where the company has control over only what is in that separate container of that device. So example again, personal per, uh, a personal user's device, but they want to be able to access some corporate information data on it. So AirWatch will push down this secure container onto their device and then IT will only have control over that container and what's in it only. So if they need to wipe anything, it's only corporate related information and applications within that container while yet the the owner of that personal device still has full access to their to their operating system and their device uh, IT can't um, wipe the entire device or anything like that so again it's a good balance of both you know be able to provide security for corporate data but yet having the uh, end user still have full control of their personal device and be able to do whatever they want on it
And then finally, you can have a hybrid approach where a company can use both methods. Maybe they have some users that have corporate owned devices, so they have them totally locked down, but yet they have the standard employee that's using their personal device and using that containerized method. So that kind of gives you an idea of uh, how you can keep your corporate information secure in different ways of deploying a mobile uh, device management solution such as AirWatch. So this shows you the four different packages that are available for AirWatch. As you would expect, the higher the level, the more capabilities and uh, products you get in the package. The green package provides you the basic mobile device MDM management capabilities. The orange packet adds uh, secure email, as you see. The blue adds an additional application capability, such as application wrapping, reputation scanning, and secure browser. The yellow package gives you the complete solution, gives you everything that AirWatch has to offer. And also, as you see, the Secure Content Locker, or SCL, which is basically an enterprise version of something like Dropbox, which would um, which is included in the yellow package, but then as you also see, it can be purchased as a separate item to go with the other three packages, the green, the orange, and the blue. So if you want to buy the smaller package because you don't need all the application and browser uh, feature sets, you can get one of the lower packages, but then you still want to do Secure Content Locker, which is very popular, you can buy that as a separate item to include. So that's kind of a quick breakdown of what's included in so that's a breakdown of the different packages um, and what's offered in them. So you have definitely variety to choose from. So with that, um, I th that completes my overview of basically VMware's end user computing solutions in regarding to virtual desktops with on-premise and cloud plus also some mobile device management. I'd like to thank everybody for joining me today in this session and look forward to having you on further ones. Have a wonderful day.